Hello everyone, my name is Braden Gerard, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the ID field with a slug field in Strapi. So we have a brand new project here and all I've done is create a post collection type and I've created two default posts here. They're both published and one has an ID of one and the other has an ID of two. The only other thing I did on this project was I went into the roles here and for public, I set post access for find and find one to public just so that for testing purposes, we don't have to authenticate. So we have those two post uh, uh, post objects in our post collection. And uh, one other thing to note about these post types is that in the content type builder, when I created them, I gave them a title, which is text, content, which is rich, rich text, and I gave them a slug. Now the slug has the type of text, but if we look into that a little more, I've added it as a required field on the post and also unique field so that we can't create two posts with the same slug. This will be important later when we're looking at how we're querying for our posts using the slug. So let's go over to the code and we'll take a look at how we can do this. So in our source folder, we're going to go to our API and we're going to go to our post collection. Now what we want to do first is we want to create a custom route. So we're going to make a new file in here. I just like to call my custom routes custom.js um, and then inside of there we're going to do module dot exports equals and then we're going to give a routes property and that's going to be an array of all of our custom routes and then the first custom route that we're going to create is going to be a custom route to override uh, the get request type on the path of on forward slash posts forward slash and then slug so typically this would be uh, id here and we're going to change it to slug and then we're also going to say what handler we want this path to go to so we're going to say that we want it to go to our posts uh, post dot find one um, and that's going to be our over written uh, action that we're going to override in our custom controller. Um, and then finally, we're going to pass a config here just to say that uh, auth is false for this custom endpoint, just so that we don't have to authenticate for testing purposes. We're going to save that and that will override the default posts forward slash ID route to hit find one. And now it'll take a slug um, and pass it to the find one overriding the find one action in our custom controller. So over to our custom controller, we'll go to our post controller um, and we're going to create a custom controller inside of here. So we will go here and we're going to add in the strappy object here. Passed in and we're going to make that a function and inside of here we're going to create our custom controller what did i do here oh, took away a quote by mistake there we go um, and then inside of here we're going to do our custom controller and looks like i'm missing a closing bracket there we go and that custom action um, for this controller that we're going to create is the find one so we'll make an async find one and then we're going to say pass in the context and then inside of that find one, this is where we're gonna write our custom logic for when find one handler gets called. Uh, and we're saying that we wanna get the slug instead of the ID. So we're gonna say, get the slug out of the context parameters. And we'll say const entity is equal to await strappy.db.query and then we say the API post dot post. And we're gonna say find one and pass it an object with a where property and where slug. So we wanna match the slug that we're getting from the parameters. Uh, then we'll take that entity and we'll sanitize it. So const sanitized entity is equal to await this dot sanitize 
output and we'll pass it the entity and then we'll say return this dot transform response sanitized entity and that's all we have to do to override the find one action using the slug instead of the ID. So now it'll find our post with that slug and it'll find only one because we're using find one, but also we made sure that our slug is unique. So there shouldn't be any issue where we don't find something. Uh, if we don't find something, it means that that slug doesn't exist. So let's go over here to our find one route. And before we'd hit forward slash posts forward slash one to get the first post, now we're getting a 404 on that. And if I go back over to our uh, content manager here, we can see that we have two posts with the one with the slug hello world. So let's try that instead of the ID. So if we go over here and put in hello world and we hit send, now we get our post back. Um, and we can also change this to, let's say post two, we'll see we don't get post two, but if we put in coding is fun, we will get that post back. And there you have it. So that is how you override the ID to use a slug instead inside of Strapi.